again, it's the sharing of the ideas. Um, we're all we're all on different paths at the moment, and different stages of that path. Um, you know, the conversation certainly going on already is how do we get more uniformity in what the ports, the shipping companies, and that are trying to do. To get there, we all need to learn from each other's experience. Um, there was a wonderful phrase used just earlier this morning about can ports like the Port of Newcastle, who's four years into our journey, but clearly we have capacity, so we've done a lot in four years. Um, ports in Papua New Guinea or the Solomon Islands or over in Africa, how can, how can they maybe leapfrog some of the experiences that the Western world has had to go through, especially the first world countries, so that they can get, you know, they can catch up quicker without having to spend lots of money and effort to get there. So. I don't think it's a choice. So um, now I speak from the unique perspective of the world's largest coal port. Um, if you want to be funded by international investment, if you want to have a sustainable future, and you still want to be around when we have moved to a low carbon economy, the truth is every port's got to take this seriously. Because the ports have to take it seriously because the shipping lines have to. I mean, they're a major emitter of greenhouse gas. So I don't know that there's actually a choice anymore. I think what we all have to acknowledge is we must do this. And how do we do it in the most sustainable and, and you know, we've got to admit, commercial way? How do, we, how do we make those two things coexist to get to where we're going? Because I'll tell you now, the, the population of the world and the world itself really isn't going to um, put up with anything else. Yes, well, I mean, for all that people have, um, you know, have said the globalization is dead because of geopolitics and COVID and all that sort of stuff, freight movement continues to grow. I mean, yes, it probably won't be that 6% growth year on year that we, we've seen in recent times, but it will not go away. And um, ports remain incredibly important to global trade, clearly. Um, if anybody thinks we can just sit there and wait for events to pass us by, um, I think they'll find themselves very disappointed. It's a great collaboration and sharing of ideas by people who actually are here to learn because we know we have to do something.